stage. Get a little bit of season up toes that he's definitely gonna be uh, just doing too. Pack a lot of percentage on Suave. But again, these kind of Falcon, he's just a big man. It's a heavy dude. Ooh, that feels not gonna take it right here. So lying around. So lying around. <laughs> I can't, I can't, I can't take commentating seriously. I can't, I can't. So what? <laughs> Oh, look at that. And that was a very missed opportunity for a punish right there. That's very unfortunate. That's, that's not going to take it. Sora? Sora is like, where? Where do the ground be? Where? Sora because, did not care. I don't know. There but that up there yeah. is going to take it. That's very interesting. Seems how like we had a very precarious situation for Helper a little bit earlier. I hate how I've been using precarious almost all day. This is this is very not it. Or precarious is a good word. Precarious. That's the only big big boy word I know. But you just said solamente. Is that a big word? Yes. That's like. That's like standard for us. All right. So anyway. <laughs> <laughs> but for sure, we have to get back into this match where we have a very good situation for Helper right here. Helper was looking a little bit iffy that first stop but just kind of turned it around immediately and having Suave at 139%. This is crazy. Oh no, be oh, careful. Oh, you tried it. No, this is Sora, this is Sora. Sora's fine. Oh, you tried it. Bayonetta Definitely. Incarnate. Oh. <laughs> and there goes that up there. Mm -hmm. Taking off that last stock. Very nice from Helper. Securing that first game with the Suave of fashion. Como suavemente. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I forgot how you use that word in English, so it's like whatever. Like, you know. It, uh, but like, don't people say like suave? Suave means like, well, suave, that's the English pronunciation of it, suave. So I've been saying it wrong this whole time. How do you say it in Spanish? Suave. Yeah, that's fine. In but like, English, it's suave. But I thought that was. But like, suave means soft. This is too confusing. So no, nothing <laughs> I'm not matters. Here. This is the weekend. My brain is not here for this. Flaco. 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 We have Flaco here. You know, just chilling. Tranquilando. Tranquilando. Yep. <laughs> it's it's, it's kind of what we're doing. I don't. Uh, we haven't seen too much from the the Flaco because like the Flaco just like hasn't been giving us the combos. Are we gonna get the combos? It's looking like we're gonna we, get the we combos. Definitely getting the combos. Definitely I want the give combos. me the down air. Give me the down air. Give me the the fair. The up yep. tilt. Give me the double down air, please. And thank you. If you can make it to the stage to actually like get mm -hmm. some percentage on helper besides doing some chip damage with the uh, the laser gun, we've definitely seen some like pretty good positioning coming in from helper. This is exactly what we needed to make sure that he kind of keeps his head in the game. Woo. This is this is looking a little scary for Suave. Yeah, definitely. I'm not sure if Falco was actually the counter pick to go uh, against Sora. Sora definitely like outranges. Kind of can jump out of a lot of Taco's uh, moves just because he's a little, a little bit floatier and can just fall out that kind of stuff. Because he can't really dictate where he's Ooh. going to go. So Falco being the the wave, not really sure. I feel like this might also just be a little bit of a um, issue in terms of like matchup. Yeah. Because when knowledge. it comes to like um, just playing, sticking to one character, I always tell people is the best thing you want to do. And you just have situations where you're playing a specific matchup and you're not playing the com or your character you're most comfortable with. But oh, but catching the uppy right there definitely mm -hmm. will take that first stock. And you know, maybe we're just talking a little bit like Gomieta because we have a completely even game right now, once more. I mean, honestly, that's what it was looking like in the first game too, but... But then you know, see Helper kind of racking up soon. Mm -hmm. Hacker, oh, hacker? Helper has definitely, <laughs> 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 definitely been racking up a lot of damage. Um, so I feel like it's just on more of the terms of like advantage. Helper has been doing really well, just making sure he isn't having too much of a bad time and disadvantage, and that's kind of the issue I feel like Suave is having. Suave isn't like really doing the best in both those situations. Like you're trying to die extremely early. That was that was not a position you wanted to be in there, bestie. Absolutely not. This is just not supposed to move that fast. Now that back throw could have had he waited like maybe a second longer. That back throw would have killed because platform was moving so close to the blast zone. So. Yeah, so I've been kind of in a really precarious situation against us, uh, Hubba, right now. You know what? Maybe I'm, maybe I'm just lying, because, uh, I mean, the thing that Suave, I've, I've noticed about him. Oh! No! There it was. 
Ah! Get rid of it. Did he be call it? I was calling it. The down air? The down air. The down air be doing the down air. It be doing down air. But mm -hmm. as I was saying earlier, I was like, I've noticed that Suave only really is able to do chip damage against Helper instead of like really whenever he's able to punish him rather than building up on that punish and really like going forward with it and committing to it, you know? But that was good. Ooh. Do it again. Oh! Not gonna kill. This upper is definitely a little bit stale, so I feel like we definitely need to see a little bit more of a situation like that. Just smash the down air, period. Just smash down air, just smash down air. Sora down air go crazy. Absolutely. And I feel like this is a thing that Halper doesn't often use too much to his advantage, which is actually being able to stall off ledge. Like, this is definitely a really good tool to use, especially considering how floaty he is. Yeah. Whenever you are playing matchups and you really want to make sure that your disadvantage is on point, you have to mix up when you're actually, you know, you know, getting back onto stage, when you're choosing your options on ledge. You have to make sure that you mix up all those timings so that you can throw your opponent, you know, for a little bit of a loop. Yeah, I think that's so useful for Falco, who really has like these set combo starters mm -hmm. that he likes to do. So if you stall it out a little bit, he's gonna be kind of a little bit off his game. But uh, like here we go, we have Helper. Honestly, 104 percent. I mean, we I did just see Sora live 155 against Kevin Falcon. So you know what? I'm, I'm just talking out of like nowhere right now because I'm pretty sure Helper can definitely survive most of Falcon's attacks right now, unless he goes like for another fair off ledge. Oh. Absolutely, and that's looking really scary. I don't know if that back air was going to kill, but it's definitely looking like we're going to get a back air here soon. We're definitely seeing Sora. Oh, Ooh, that, that. could have been, that could have been death. <gasps> Ooh, oh, the, the amazing drift away from the stage. What? Oh, wow. The foot was enough from the Flacco. That's crazy. I did not think... Falco back here could challenge Sora up like that. And I oop. And I oop. Oh, uh, your nails. Hello. Yes. Wait, we're we going camera. We got your nails off. No. Oh, stop. thank you, Nummies. Thank you, Nummies. Thank you. Wow. Hi. Wow. I did it myself. I didn't. <laughs> now, who got the caca nails? I do got the caca nails. Ah, oh, I haven't <laughs> painted my nails in like two weeks. I got the caca nails for real. That's oh. crazy. But we're going to go ahead and go to our third game here. Looking at all these socks, I don't know. Maybe the Flacco was the answer. Yeah, Look at that down air. Look at that. That down go crazy. Do it again. That, that go crazy. Go crazy. Three, oh, over to Hollow Bastion. A pretty good stage for Sora. Just using that move as much as he can to kind of emphasize this Sonic Blade. Uh, all the movement he can really capitalize on uh, his opponents. And yeah, that mid platform is going to be really useful for Sora in general. It, being able to kind of catch his opponents under the ledge or under the platform of that stage as well is so useful for like using up air or up tilt. That's or Thundaga. That's Persona music. Period. I didn't say Persona, I said Sora. Oh, uh, I think I said Persona. I was like, what? Like, how? Dude. <laughs> Jazzy ASMR, please. Anyways, um, so yeah, like, b barring the fact that this is, <laughs> listen, I got to make sure I get up into it. You already know what it is. Um, barring aside from the fact that like this is Sora's stage, um, I feel like a lot of the time, like it, it kind of just comes down to a point where we need to make sure like the advantages are on point because like you can definitely tell like the way a match is going by how well somebody plays in advantage and in disadvantage because like you can have a really good advantage like you know Helper's been having, but if you don't have that good disadvantage, if you're not making sure that everything is on point, you end up in situations where you are losing to Flacco, but. You know why when you can just kill. I love that we started calling him Flaco. Mm -hmm. That's his name, Flaco. Suave or Falco? Flaco. Flaco. I'm sorry, it's not my fault. I'm mentally bit. ill. A little bit. And Hispanic. A little. And Hispanic. That's the, that's the bigger part. <laughs> it, it ranks. It ranks Hispanic then mentally ill for both of us. I love like, that for us, actually. You know, I really do too. And I also love how this game is so pretty even. Uh, considering the fact that, like, you know, Alper has been struggling a little bit since the Flaco came out from Suave. So, honestly, Flaco. Flaco Suave. Suave, Um, ooh. I feel like also, just on the end of Suave, like, they haven't been getting a lot of the Falco combos that we're known for. Which is again like going back to that same point I've been trying to make is that like advantage is really important and like oh. this could be just like a whole lot more better for Suave if like he had a little bit of an understanding of advantage and I guess that's where we're seeing it right there. Very nice getting that, you know, air dodge read on helper. 
I'm wondering if it, this is going to be enough to take out a stock on Suave's end because it's a little bit, a little bit of back and forth on both of their ends. I'm loving the use of the um, how they're actually called with this spell, like the magic spell for Sora, the, th the Thundaga, and the Zada. Like the way he used Fireaga in the first second stock into a grab, into a throw, and then using the, the last hit of Thundaga to actually kill some Suave. I think that second stock was such a smart move and such a smart display of um, intelligent display of being able to actually use Sora's spells mm -hmm. to his advantage, of course. And we're, we're seeing it right now, that Bazaga is not going to do too much with that amazing mash from Suave. But once he gets to like, one, like, that, like the really bright deep, or not the deep reds, that Bazaga is going to keep you in that freeze for so long. It's going to be so differential, especially when Sora is able to do, oh, do his um, up smash or his up B. I feel like we've had a lot of situations where Helper would just up B. And it looks like it's very random up Bs, but it's for the fact that like every time he sees Suave like trying to hit his shield or just overall around his shield, he's been like kind of like missing the mark entirely. I feel like I'm not sure how safe a B is. Oh but this might be really Oops. Like yeah, that that's, is gonna be it. that was a really, really unsafe use of the third use of the Sonic Blade, which we noticed. We obviously like noticed that he only goes for the first two, mm -hmm. and so I kind of, so I picked up on that when we saw earlier um, in that third stock where uh, he got punished for it. A helper got punished for that, but right here, that was well not right here, but when we get to that replay, like using the third hit in order to try to grab or at least uh, hit Falco's fall was a really that was that was a Hail Mary attempt. That honestly. that was a little bit of an overextension. Yeah. Like I think he would have been much safer just going for the two, going back down and waiting for uh where Sava was going to land because he was in free fall uh, he was uh pretty much just falling straight down fast falling mm -hmm. and he would have gotten a a, a great up, up smash kill right there. Absolutely. Like it, it, it kind of like it it's under very understandable because I it looked like um Albert didn't really want to be in that position because it definitely could have ended either way. Yeah. But I just feel yeah. like when it comes to situations like those, like you can't overextend too hard. Like the name of this game in Ultimate is to not extend at oh. all. No, no committing. You you thought you had a nice stable relationship, not in this game.